Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this lecture, let us discuss harmonics filter calculation. Again, this calculation will be validated with ETAP software. I hope you remember this SLDs which was used in the last couple of videos. In this video, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to calculate harmonic filter. For that purpose, uh, I am um, running this uh, again in order to find out which order is greater. So that, there we go. It's a slider. I just move it to fundamental. This is fundamental harmonics. Uh, next, fifth order. So fifth order harmonics are higher here, which is 6.49 percentage. Then further moving down seven, seventh order only 3.11 and goes on uh, the value becomes less. So it is very clear that uh, your higher order is uh, fifth order. So my first objective here is to reduce fifth order harmonics are almost negligible value I have to find out. And the second thing while doing filter calculation you have to run load flow and observe what is power factor on uh, this particular area. Uh, it is well known that we have maintained 95% power factor. And uh, at bus number 9, bus number 9 is 94.17% power factor. Okay. So second objective on this is I want to maintain this power factor value as close as 100 say for example let me fix 100 that is uh, one per unit here so i have two objective here one is uh, maintaining power factor at bus number nine is as close as one in addition we have to design a filter to eliminate fifth order harmonics right right so input required are uh, here look at this uh, what is the load value? I am maintaining 2 MVA load at 95% of power factor. What is the order to be eliminated? Fifth order because which is higher. Then PF to be maintained at a grid. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to maintain 100% power factor. Okay. So now I am going for a single tune filter with this value. First I am calculating reactive power Q which is equal to P tan of cos inverse of power factor available power factor available at the grid is we know that 94.17 percentage minus cos inverse of power factor required power factor required at grid side according to our calculation is 100 percentage that means one so substitute power factor available and power factor required as it is in this sld that is what I did it here. 0.9417 is power factor available. I want to maintain 100% power factor. That is 1. Then P. Uh, P is real power. Actually load is available to MVA load with 95% power factor. From this you can calculate P as 1.9. So when you solve this one, you will be finding 0.625 MVAR. So this is one important value needs to be absorbed while doing filter then i'm going for a xc value that is capacitive reactance kv square in fact phase voltage divided by mvr per phase okay so this is three phase value just convert it to single phase so that it becomes 0.207 then kv square what is the voltage level at which we are uh, going to connect this filter if you ask me that is on 4.16 side so for 4.16 divided by root 3 will give this answer 2.401 so i am taking kv square divided by mvr phase then based on this you can calculate capacitor how to calculate capacitor xc is equal to 1 by omega c so xc is known here that is 27.713 and omega value for a 50 hertz frequency you know that it is 314 from this you can calculate 
this 115 microfarad. Then uh, Xc by Xl is equal to n square where n is uh, harmonic order. We have already discussed that fifth order to be eliminated. So n square becomes 25. Xc value is known here that is 27.713. You can easily calculate Xl that is 1.108 ohms. So this Xl and uh, this Q, these two uh, is deciding factor for the harmonic filter. Now I come back to eTab uh, software. I just copy paste this again. So it is enough to have these two diagram because uh, one without filter, another one with filter. Okay. Now uh, have a look at uh, the bus 16 where exactly I want to connect my uh, harmonic filter. Take this harmonic filter, connect it here, open this harmonic filter tab go to parameter this kvar uh, for a sake of clarity i'll, I'll uh, note down these two values 0.625 mvr that means it is 625 kvar and also this 1.108 these two values you must remember now open this tab so remember 625 kvr so automatically microfarad is updated so rated voltage is 4.16 xl don't forget 1.108 okay that's it uh, these values are enough in fact you have to enter q factor q factor is actually for harmonic filter between 30 to 60 any value you can choose it uh, between 30 to 60 approximately i'm taking 40. Okay. then the remaining two tabs uh, maximum kv and maximum current you can um, you can leave it blank uh, even though it will work with some error right i'll just go for um, harmonic analysis i want to plot these harmonics also Go to harmonic tab, plot all buses and cables also. Okay, then now run this harmonic analysis. You can you can see some uh, change in value uh, on the left hand side. Whatever the circuit I am having that is uh, without filter on right hand side whatever the circuit i am having is uh, with filter now with filter harmonics on this 4.16 bus is 4.14 whereas without filter it is 8.6 so considerably the total harmonic distortion is reduced here let me check uh, whether I am able to reduce the fifth harmonic value. Yes, you see here fifth order. Fifth order value is almost uh, uh, negligible amount, 0.134 percentage. Whereas in a normal scenario, that is without filter, it is around 6.49. It is around 6.49. So uh, one of the objective is over. We have reduced uh, fifth order harmonics. Uh, then I want to make sure whether I am able to maintain the power factor close to unity at this bus number 18 or not. For that I am going for a load flow. Let me check. Right, look at the power factor. Without uh, harmonic filter, we are having 94.17. With harmonic filter, we are able to maintain as close as 100 percent that is uh, unity power factor here so these are the two objectives when we go for uh, harmonic filter okay. 
So this is one way of uh, finding harmonic filter through calculation. But ETAB provides easy way of understanding or parameterizing these parameters. Okay. So say for example, uh, you can go to size filter. You have to mention what is the order you want to cancel. And also you have to mention what is a harmonic current. So these two values you must enter and what is existing for power factor and the desired power factor. So these are the values you have to fill along with load MPA. Okay. So these uh, values entered properly. In fact, one, two, three, four and five values. If you entered properly, you can easily size the filter. Okay. Let me work out that one also here. Okay. For that, I want to know what is the harmonic current. These rest of the values I know very well. Okay. Then I just want to go for uh, harmonic current. Okay. Fifth order harmonic current. Run harmonic load flow. One in without filter case, you can easily identify what is fifth order harmonic current. Okay, then go to fifth order. Fifth order. Uh, actually, we are having as much as uh, 43.5 amps harmonic current. Okay, you just go to this. I want to size the filter without calculation. Harmonic order to be eliminated is fifth. Harmonic current is 43.5. I know my power factor is 94.17 existing power factor. I want to find out 100% power factor. Load MB is 2. Okay. So size of filter, uh, capacitor maximum and or uh, inductor maximum current rate exceeded press. Press OK and uh, look at uh, the values here. Uh, 672.9 kVR and uh, XLS 1.03 ohms per phase. Substitute this, then you could see slight change in parameter. But however, uh, uh, let us check uh, what is exactly the total harmonic distortion at uh, fifth order. Okay, and press OK. I run harmonic load flow now. Uh, we have some error. Uh, we have to provide a Q factor as I mentioned earlier. Just prep it, make it as 40. Now run this harmonic load flow. So you could uh, see here uh, 4.06 considerable reduction in fifth order harmonic. Uh, I'll also showcase that. Uh, there is a slight mismatch in answer uh, between my calculation and ETAB value. But still uh, you could see that there is a negligible amount of fifth order harmonic here whereas in without filter we have 6.49 percentage as already witnessed so either way you can calculate uh, parameters of harmonic filter using hand calculation and uh, uh, easiest way is uh, using um, etab user friendly uh, method that is by simply substituting uh, these values harmonic order, harmonic current, even um, power factor correction, whatever the changes you are making, you have to put it and you have to enter a proper value of Q factor so that you can get this answer. That's it today. While uh, coming to next session, we will discuss how transformer connections, that is winding configurations, changes uh, harmonic order or restricts a harmonic order. So till then, bye bye.